Colorado versus James Egan Holmes, case number 12 CR 1522. The record should reflect that Mr. Holmes is present with his attorneys and the prosecutors are present as well. I don't know when exhibit uh, P-TR-1227 is going to come up, but uh, has the defense had a chance to think about whether he wants that instruction or not, Ms. Spengler? Your Honor, we would like a redaction instruction uh, for that exhibit. And I, um, I like the first two sentences um, of the court's tendered instruction or offered instruction and would ask that the court instruct the jury uh, with the first two sentences. Okay, so you want only the sentences that would read, members of the jury, exhibit P-TR-1227 has been admitted with redactions. You are instructed that you are not to draw any inferences from those redactions. Is that correct? That's right. And then leave the rest of it out. Yes, please. And I read it into the record before, so I don't need to read it again. All right, that's how we will proceed then. I'm assuming that people have no objection to that. No objection, Your Honor. All right. Uh, Ms. Nelson, what about the other proposed instruction? Have you had a chance to think about that one? Could we let the court know in the morning? That's Just fine. Just sleep on it. Thanks. Yep. And then, um, how about the request to strike? Mr. Edson, did you have an opportunity to look uh, at the reports that you said you needed to look at? I did, Your Honor. Um, we're going to attempt to introduce a couple of additional surveillance video, not that particular surveillance video, so I don't have an objection if the court wants to read an instruction to the jury. To read an instruction. To, you're talking about the People's Exhibit 532? Yes, but it's not about whether I give an instruction. It's about whether I strike the testimony provided with respect to that surveillance video. Right. I have no objection to that. Okay. I'll grant the request. All right. Anything else before we bring the jury in on behalf of the people? No, Your Honor. Anything on behalf of the defense? Your Honor, um, with regard to our objection uh, on the video that I discussed before the lunch break, I would also cite the court to um, Colorado Rule of Evidence 404B as a basis for our objection. You're now referring to a different video. You're, you were referring now to um, P-TR-1089, correct? Is that the subject matter of the defense's previous motion 275A. That's the one that Mr. Orman argued. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, let's bring the jury in, please. Please be seated, everyone. The record should reflect that the jury is back in the courtroom. <coughs> Members of the jury, right before the lunch recess, witness Carla May Rodriguez testified. And 
part of her testimony included answers to some questions about a surveillance video because the prosecution ended up not seeking the admission of that surveillance video. Uh, I have stricken the testimony with respect to that surveillance video. So you should treat that testimony as though you never heard it uh, and as though it had never been elicited from her. Uh, you should, that is stricken and you should disregard it. Does everybody understand that? Yes, yes everybody's saying yes. Thank you. Okay, with that, the people may call their next witness, please. Andrew Barbarak. Good afternoon. Hi. Could I have you raise your right hand for me, please, so that I can administer a note? Do you solemnly swear or affirm on a penalty of law that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Please be seated. Thank you. Could you please tell us your full name for the record and spell your first, middle, and last names? Andrew Barbarak. It's A-N-D-R-E-W. Barbarak, B-A-R-B-O-R-A-K. Mr. Edson, you may proceed. What do you do for a living, sir? I am the senior manager of loss prevention for Gander Mountain. What are, your some, what are some of your job responsibilities? I work at our corporate office in St. Paul, Minnesota. I manage the day-to-day -day business as it relates to loss prevention, um, help conduct investigations into loss, um, investigate uh, um, uh, you know, any incidents that happen or help uh, facilitate that. Um, also responsible for construction of new stores, physical security. Are you familiar with transaction snapshots? Yes. What are transaction snapshots? It is a report that's generated out of our point of sale exception reporting system, uh, which is called Aspect. And it's a, a report that shows the detail about a particular transaction. Are you a custodian of records for Gander Mountain specific to those transaction snapshots? I am. How long have you had that uh, particular type of role uh, with Gander Mountain? Um, I've been with Gander Mountain for 10 years, and that's part of my job responsibilities. How are the transaction snapshots created? Uh, there's various reports within our uh, exception reporting system uh, and we can go in and, and run report and then uh, look at the detail which would be called a transaction snapshot which provides us with a another level of detail around that particular transaction where are you where's your home office st paul minnesota how are you familiar with transaction snapshots for transactions that may occur for example in the denver metro area um, nightly the uh, the sales information is sent back to our uh, corporate office and then it's um, put into uh, the database that allows us to run queries on those transactions the following day. Are you also familiar with transaction journals? I am. What are transaction journals? That would be another way of looking at a uh, a particular transaction uh, using like an electronic journal so um, as opposed to like a paper paper journal roll it would be generated electronically on the computer are you a custodian records for transaction journal records I am how do you know that when you have a sale at a store say in the Denver metro area that that information is accurate as far as being placed on the transaction journal or the transaction snapshot well, that information is, um, like I said, sent back to our, our corporate office, and then that information is sent into basically that, that populates various uh, uh, tools, reporting tools that uh, our company uses. And um, part of our IT function, our information technology team, is responsible for making sure that information gets back to our corporate office nightly and um, and look for s some of those anomalies. We also have a sales audit team uh, that gets down into kind of the detail of those uh, transactions. So again, they're looking for anomalies and are able to correct that. As part of your job responsibilities, do you often go through 
the uh, transaction uh, journals as well as the transaction snapshots? I do. Your Honor, may I approach the witness, please? You may. I've handed you two separate documents. One is marked People's Exhibit 10, I'm sorry, 1100, and the other is 1102. Do you see both of those documents? I do. In general, what are both of those sets of documents? 1100 appears to be a transaction journal. 1102 looks like a transaction snapshot. Uh, accompanied by a transaction journal. Are you familiar with both sets of those documents? I am. Are you familiar in your job capacity with Gander Mountain related to those particular documents? I am. So let's start first with People's Exhibit 1100. Um, is that a computerized record? Yes. The entries that are contained within People's Exhibit 1100, are they made in the regular and ordinary course of Gander Mountain's business? They are. Are they also, as you described, um, transmitted from the local store to your corporate office on a, a reasonable time period basis? Yes. Those who are participating in making of the records contained within People's Exhibit 1100, are they or acting in the routine course of business for Gander Mountain? They are. The input procedures that are used to create People's Exhibit 1100, are they accurate? Yes. The entries uh, that are made, so not necessarily the transmission, but the entries that are made within People's Exhibit 1100, uh, are they made within a reasonable time after the actual transaction itself? Yes. Is there a particular customer name associated with the transaction for People's Exhibit 1100? does not appear to have a customer name associated with it. Your Honor, may I approach, please? Yes. Let me ask you this, is there a last four digits of a debit card associated with that particular uh, transaction? Yes, there is. What is that? An account ending in 8522. What is the date of that transaction? The transaction was July 1st, 2012.
the information that's contained within those records, are they automatically generated within Gander Mountain's computerized system? Yes. Uh, the information contained with that exhibit, uh, has it been transmitted by an individual like yourself that has knowledge of that particular uh, sale reported and otherwise uh, Gander Mountain records? Yes. That particular information from Gander Mountain, is it contained, uh, is it kept and maintained in the ordinary course of business and the regularly conducted business practice for Gander Mountain? It is. How is it maintained by Gander Mountain? <clears throat> the, um, like I mentioned earlier, the, the data, sales data um, comes back to our corporate office and is fed into various uh, tools that employees uh, use um, and have access to as part of their job functions within Gander Mountain. Is there a time associated with that particular exhibit? The sale appears to be uh, 3.51 p.m. Which Gander Mountain store was that made at? Store 420, our Aurora, Colorado store. Does Gander Mountain regularly uh, receive, maintain, and rely on these types of records as internal documents in the ordinary course of their business? Yes. Judge, may I also approach the witness with, with what's been previously marked as People's Exhibit 361? Yes. Sir, I've handed you what's been previously marked as People's Exhibit 361. I'm going to ask you some questions associated with People's Exhibit 1100 as well. But People's Exhibit 361, do you recognize that exhibit? I do. What is that exhibit? It appears to be a, a DVD uh, labeled Gander Mountain from sales date or date 7-1-2012. My initials uh, are on this indicating I viewed it on 6-12-2015. Are you familiar with surveillance video for Gander Mountain stores? I am. Is that part of your job? It is. Explain that for the jury, please. Um, all of our stores have uh, CCTV or closed circuit television uh, systems within the store. Um, we have digital video recorders that record the video. Uh, the cameras are throughout the store at the front entrance. Uh, the registers, um, the sales floor, the firearms area, um, and other key areas within our store. On or around July 27, 2012, were you contacted by law enforcement related to uh, a shooting that had occurred in Aurora, Colorado at a Century 16 theater? I was. At that time, were you also in your same position as a Gator Mountain uh, loss prevention uh, senior manager? I was. Did you provide information to law enforcement related to security footage uh, from July 1, 2012 from a Gander Mountain store here in the metro area? I did. Is that the uh, security footage? Yes. Does that security footage also match the information as far as the time and the date associated with People's Exhibit 1100? It did. The information contains within People's Exhibit 361 is that surveillance video of the transaction from People's Exhibit 1100. I don't know that the transaction itself was on the video, but there was video from our front entrance exit of the store, okay. as I recall. So a better, a better question would be, did the time period of that entrance of the store, did that match the time period associated with the transaction from People's Exhibit 1100. It did. Judge, I would move for admission to People's Exhibit 1100 and 361 at this time. Is there any objection? Yes, and your the battery on this mic has gone out. It's giving me a red. Box. Could you give her new batteries, please? I'm 
happy to approach while we change the battery. Please.
right? The objection is sustained. Sir, do you have People's Exhibit 1102 in front of you? I do. Does that particular document associate with a particular customer? The electronic journal view indicates that the customer name is James Holmes. Is there a method of payment associated with that particular transaction? There is a MasterCard, account ending in 2217. What is the date of that transaction? <clears throat> June 7th, 2012. That particular document, are you familiar with that as far as being a record from Gander Mountain? I am. The computer entries that are contained within People's Exhibit 1102, are they made in the regular and ordinary course of Gander Mountain's business? They are. Those particular uh, records, are they also transmitted from a local store to the corporate office where you work? Yes. Uh, what particular store is associated with People's Exhibit 1102? Store 421 which would be our Thornton, Colorado store. Those participating in making of the record that's contained within People's Exhibit 1102, are they acting in the routine and ordinary course of business for Gander Mountain? They are. The input procedures associated with People's Exhibit 1102, are they accurate? They are. Uh, is there a particular weapon associated with People's Exhibit 1102? Yes, it appears a MMP-15 sport rifle. Does it have a, a, any sort of identifying information, social uh, uh, serial numbers, anything like that? There is. The serial number shown on the journal view is SP43179. The information contained within People's Exhibit 1102, has it been transmitted by a reliable person such as yourselves that has knowledge of that particular type of record? Yes. And that particular type of sale? Yes. The information contained within People's Exhibit 1102, is it kept and maintained in the uh, normal and ordinary course of regularly conducted business practice for Gander Mountain? It is. In your role as Senior Manager for Loss Prevention, do you um, often and regularly receive, maintain, and rely on those types of business records? I do. Judge, I would move for admission of People's Exhibit 1102. Any objection? Yes, Your Honor. Could you approach, please? Thank you. That exhibit uh, P-TR-1102 is admitted without objection. And it may be published.
Judge, one moment, please. Yes. If we could have page two of People's Exhibit 1102, please. What are we looking at here, sir? What are we looking at here? This is the electronic journal view of a transaction on June 7, 2012 at our Thornton, Colorado store. What was the time of that transaction? 7.25 p.m. The um, store number 421, which one does that refer to? Thornton, Colorado. Okay. The transaction number, is that a unique transaction number to each sale? It is. What were the items purchased? An MNP 15 sport rifle, a pro plan for the firearm, a Bushmaster magazine, another Bushmaster magazine, a third Bushmaster magazine, a shotgun sling. The next item says traditional neoprene black. I presume that's a sling for a firearm. Okay, do you know for sure though? I do not know for sure. Okay, we go to the third page please. Is this a continuation of this transaction? It appears to be, yes. What were some of the other items purchased? It looks like 223 ammunition. The next three items are all ammunition. We could scroll down to the bottom of the third page, please. Is this where the information related to the payment type is located? Yes. As well as the customer name? Yes. We could go to the fourth page of People's Exhibit 1102, please. What was the total amount of this particular transaction? $968.38. Thank you. If we could have People's Exhibit 4502, it's a photograph already admitted into evidence, Your Honor. Yes. We could zoom into the receipt, please. Sir, can you see that on your computer screen? I can. What I'd like you to do is, if you can compare People's Exhibit 1102 to People's Exhibit 4502, does this appear to be a duplicate receipt for that transaction um, from June 7th, 2012? does appear to be a duplicate receipt, yes. Okay, thank you, you can take that down, thank you. Judge, one moment please. Yes. Did you provide any other video surveillance uh, to law enforcement associated with this case? I did. What was that? <clears throat> As I recall, I uh, provided video, all the video we had relating to any uh, transactions in question. Okay, that's my question. How did you do that? 
Um, we have the ability to remote view um, video from our corporate office. We have a, a software that allows us to access the digital video recorder and view the video remotely from St. Paul. So we're actually pulling the video back to St. Paul and viewing it remotely. And then do you work with your local folks as far as uh, turning over video to um, law enforcement when requested? Correct. Did you do that in this case? I worked both with the uh, local store team as well as providing, um, providing video directly to the law enforcement officer. Okay. People's Exhibit 1102, um, these particular, I'm sorry, yes, 1102, that particular, particular transaction, uh, did you facilitate security video surveillance for that particular transaction? No, object at this point. We've already covered this issue at the bench. I would object to any further questioning about this particular video. No, this is with respect to a different exhibit. This is 1102 you're asking about, right? Yes, Your Honor. All right, the objection is overruled. What we talked about at the bench, I think, was with respect to uh, 1100. So the objection is overruled. Go ahead, sir. I did. Okay. And again, was that related to the investigation surrounding the shooting at the Century 16 Theater? It was. So do have no further questions at this time. Any cross-examination? Your Honor, I'm going to ask to approach on, on, on an issue related to that recent testimony. Okay. Thank you.
right, Mr. Edson, do you have any more questions for this witness? You said you didn't, right? Correct. And Ms. Higgs, do you have any questions for this witness? Your Honor, I do not. And the jury does not have any questions. May this witness be released from his subpoena? Yes, Your Honor. Without objection. All right, thank you, sir. All right, call your next witness, please. People call Lee McGinley. Good afternoon. Could I have you raise your right hand so that I can administer a note? Do you solemnly swear or affirm on the penalty of law that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Please be seated. Please tell us your full name for the record and spell your first, middle, and last names. Lee Richard McGinley, L-E-E-R-I-C-H-A-R-D-M-C-G-I-N-L-E-Y. Mr. Edson, you may proceed. Sir, I'm going to draw your attention to June 7, 2012. How were you employed on that day? I was employed with Gander Mountain part-time. What were your job titles and responsibilities for Gander Mountain? Uh, firearm sales. Was there a particular Gander Mountain that you worked at or for? Yes, the Thornton, Colorado. <clears throat> Do you have a particular sales associate number? Yes, I did at the time. What is that number? 539726. Do you use that sales number um, while you're inputting aspects of a sale? Yes. You know, may I approach with People's Exhibit 1102? Yes. I've handed you what's already been admitted as People's Exhibit 1102. Um, first of all, at the top of the second page, there appears to be a sales number. Do you see that number? Yes, I do. Is that your sales number? It is, correct. What would that represent as far as that transaction? Uh, I was the person who rang the transaction through our POS system. What's the POS system? Uh, just point of service, point of sale. Could I also please have People's Exhibit 4502? You can scroll to the top of that receipt. Uh, do you see your sales associate on that receipt as well? Yes. Likewise, indicate that you were involved in that transaction? Correct. Do you see the time on the receipt? Yes. What time is that? 7.27 p.m. Thank you. Prior to coming to court today, did you have an opportunity to view a surveillance video from Gander Mountain? Yes. Was it associated with the June 7th uh, transaction that you just testified to? Yes. Your Honor, may I approach the witness? You may. I have handed you what's been previously marked as People's Exhibit 358. Do you recognize that exhibit? Yes. What is that? Uh, that's the CD of the video that I had viewed. Do you see any markings on it that indicate you viewed that video? Yes. What is that? Uh, my signature, my initials, and the date I viewed it. Did you actually see yourself on that video? Yes, I did. 
Does that video appear to be a fair and accurate representation of the transaction from June 7, 2012 that's associated with People's Exhibit 1102? Yes, it does. And I'd move for admission of People's Exhibit 358. Any objection? Yes, Your Honor. If I may approach. Yes. The objection is overruled. The exhibit is admitted. That's a P TR dash. Is it 358, Mr. Edson? Yes, it is, Your Honor. All right. P TR dash 358 is admitted over the defense's objection, and it may be published. A couple of questions before we publish this. Um, 
Can you tell the jury before we view the video um, where some of the camera angles are associated with this video? Sure. Do you recall? I don't have it up, but I'm just from your recollection. Yes, yeah. Go ahead. Um, one angle is, um, I guess you would call it an archery camera. It's shooting from the archery to the actual register. Uh, I believe another one that I saw was just the opposite. Uh, it's kind of where our door that goes to the back uh, storeroom area is. I believe that was going one of two directions. One was looking up towards the um, uh, back receiving area, and then the other camera was pointed back towards the archery area and the uh, register. Judge, can I approach to grab one exhibit, please? Yes. <clears throat> I've again handed you People's Exhibit 1102. Um, was there a firearm associated with that transaction? Yes, there was. What was that? Uh, MNP 15 Smith & Wesson Sport Rifle. Do you recall selling that particular item uh, captured in this video, People's Exhibit 358? Do I recall selling it that day? Do you recall seeing it on the video when you yes, observed the video? Yes, on the video, video yes. Okay. Is it standard procedure for Gander Mountain to uh, accompany customers, at least in some fashion, after the purchase of a firearm? Yes, correct. It's policy to walk the customer out of the store. And were you the one that did that in this case? Yes, I was. Did you see yourself on the video doing that? Yes, I did. Your Honor, we will ask to publish. I'll tell the court this will take us probably close to the three, right at the three o'clock break. Okay. Do you want me to dim the lights? Yes, Your Honor, thank you. Okay.
Okay, the record should reflect that the people just finished uh, playing P TR 358. Mr. Edson, do you have any more questions for this witness? I do about five more minutes, Judge. All right, let's go ahead and take our afternoon um, break then, folks. Let's take 20 minutes, okay? Please keep in mind all my admonishments during the break. Thank you. And, sir, you can go on break as well. We'll see you back here in about 20, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated, everyone. The records should reflect that the jury has exited the courtroom now. Mr. Edson, did you find that uh, Gallego's uh, report? Have you had time to look? Judge, I will get it over the break. Okay. All right, let's go on break. I'll see you back here in 20. Thank you.